Controversial decision to cancel its best replacement. The series in question had a fantastic cast comprising well-known names and newer actors, who all came together to craft a great show. For much of the time the series was on the air, it was better than The Vampire Diaries. Both shows had many of the same people working behind the scenes, so it felt like the CW wanted to replicate the popularity of The Vampire Diaries. It's a shame it didn't get a big enough chance. When this series aired, the network had a knack for placing shows on multi-week hiatuses, which didn't help keep the momentum going. Consistency is vital to newer show success because watchers can find something else when they're off the air and possibly not return. If CW had nurtured this show, I believe it would have lasted much longer and had more recognition. The Secret Circle could have been a great Vampire Diaries replacement. The Vampire Diaries was going in circles. In 2009, The Vampire Diaries was entering its third season, and its storylines were getting shaky. It had a perfect first two seasons, but I feel like the network should have put its marketing muscle behind the secret circle because it could have been much bigger. The CW aired both shows together on Thursday evenings, but the secret circle had much higher expectations from the network due to higher production costs. Supernatural dramas tend to come at a higher price point due to their special effects, and I'll never forget this series for its awe-inspiring visuals. Without the tremendous special effects, the magic used by the characters would have fallen flat. For the time The Secret Circle was on the air, it left me waiting week to week for new episodes, wondering how it could possibly get better. Combined with The Vampire Diaries, it was a great strand of programming, but I firmly believe The Secret Circle would have surpassed The Vampire Diaries with a bit more promotion. Plus, keeping it around could have compelled the network to part ways with The Vampire Diaries while it was still good. Unfortunately, The Vampire Diaries couldn't recover creatively after Nina Dobrev's exit, with season 6 being the perfect place to end the show. At its cancellation, The Secret Circle was headed in an exhilarating direction, The Secret Circle Season 2 had a lot of potential. The series had plenty of exciting storylines. Phoebe Tonkin and Britt Robertson on The Secret Circle. The Secret Circle had a well-constructed supply of storylines in Season 1, but the show would have been upended in Season 2 with the arrival of John Blackwell's other children. Adding super-powered witches into the narrative would have forced the show to rewrite the rules of magic and pushed the returning characters into a challenging situation. I think the show would have reached new heights in season 2 with such an extraordinary array of characters because the plot was already brimming with potential. The best part would have been that every storyline in the first season set up things to come further into the series. As a result, I was denied closure and a version of the show that would have towered above the competition. The Secret Circle would have added new characters who threatened everything Cassie Blake and her friends had been trying to prevent happening, which was an excellent hook. It would probably have been better than The Vampire Diaries Season 4, which was a low point for the series.